Hey everybody, welcome back to Ixion. I hope you're having a great day today. Oh, I know I am. I really hope that I can see iron get processed today because I think that'll be pretty sweet to see. Um, we've got the stockpile of right here, ready to rock and roll. And um, I'm actually going to get, I think, another one right here to maybe, I want to say maybe hold some more. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe we don't even need that many, but uh, we're going to definitely start processing some of that stuff today. Now, we got some other stuff I'd like to take care of today. First thing I want to show you, and I, I realize there's a transmission coming in too, so I'm going to have to click that too. But first thing I want to show you is that we've got a lot of power usage, not a whole lot of capacity spare. So you know how it goes. First thing we're going to do, right, is we're going to hit Le Solar Panel and get 15 more of our polymers dedicated to this. In fact, I'm just going to do both because I'm certain I'm going to need both. All right. Let's pop back in here. Second thing. Uh, let's go ahead and just hear the transmission. Administrator, we are picking up a Dolos emergency frequency broadcasting from the facility Outer Hope. Okay. Dolos protocol dictates that in the event of a major systems failure, administrators must contact the nearest Dolo site immediately. Outer Hope Station is likely to have both the materials and expertise required to repair the damage that the Vol engine has sustained. Okay. Okay, good. So, um, we now have access to somebody named Outer Hope. Well, at least we have to find them. We have no idea where they are, so we have to find them, which I could use a probe to do. So, let's take a look. We got the uh, points of interest. Maybe over... Looks like over here, maybe... Oh, there's some carbon right there. Kind of want to get that. Uh, I need a point of interest. Give me a point of interest. Oh, that... Bang! Bang! There it goes. Uh, so we'll go ahead and scout that. Um, at Venus, we got uh, 3.6 cycles left until we can maybe restart this assembly line. So we'll see how that goes. Now, the other couple of things I needed to do. So um, the, the probe that I just sent out before, it revealed these. We've got iron sitting out here. Resources to mine. We want high priority, of course. Um, we also have ice. Here's the thing, though. Miner's not doing anything yet, right? And it's not doing anything yet because we got to go into our vehicle uh, management right here. Fleet management. Sorry, I'll get, the, I'll get the box. And we need to tell the mine that it's able to go and get this stuff. So we will have, I think, probably these three resources like this. And then uh, you two will be secondary resources, okay? So we've only got one docking bay right now, and I'd like to get more, but there's not really a whole lot of room for more. So, because we got a probe thing over here. So in order to get more, in order to get that going, um, we're going to open up a new section today. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. We're going to get finally see what it's like to have two sections. Now, I'm also going to juggle my ships and stuff once I do that, because I know that this game values section specializations. Yes, so um, if you specialize sections, you can get bonuses to them. Now, I'm not sure how that works. I've just heard, you know, from down the grapevine. So we'll probably look at doing that as soon as possible. But I want to show the map and see. Yep, our mining rig is on its way to go get the iron and then I'll have to come all the way back here to bring it to us which is kind of a drag wow outer hope is right there point of interest indeed okay well we found we found the outer hope um now we also have this mess hall I'm not gonna build this in fact I'm gonna destroy it and here's why this building it says it can handle 500 crew members and that's in this section okay one food feeds 10 crew members. 20 food is needed now to feed all 198. We only have 198 in here. We might get over 500. It's possible, but I doubt it. Um, just because of like what I have planned, at least in my head, I don't think we're going to need more than 500 people in this section. Might be wrong. And if we are, then we'll adjust. But I don't need this right now. So we're going to go in instead and put in some houses through here instead. We're just going to place this and this. So make this. The housing district. Now, the next thing I'd like to do in this area is I'd like to get um, uh, batteries. Where is it? Maintenance. Here it is. Batteries. 
So we just got access to this, and one of our things at the top corner here says we need to install two batteries. And I'm thinking this corner way over here is a perfect spot for batteries. That's how I'm thinking it. So I'm going to go one, uh, two on uh, the batteries here. And I know it's not exactly lined up, but I think it's fine. We maybe have space for three, four eventually as well. Um, but we'll we'll look at it once we need to. Um, for now, two batteries is the task, and so that's what we're going to do. Now, to unlock the next section, we need to have 80 alloys, which we have more than enough of. And we also need one electronic. We have it. And 16 food. We have it. And 40 people. 40 people. If I hover over top of this, we see optimal working conditions right now as we have 194 out of 198 workers, okay? Uh, sorry, we have 198 out of 194 needed. So this is optimal. We have as many workers as we need. If I hover over top of my population, everybody's a worker. Eventually, though, not everybody's going to be a worker. And, uh, well, we're going to need to gather what's called cryonics, and I'm sure we'll find cryonics eventually it probably in the tech tree uh cryonic center is right here we're gonna need this so we're gonna first go ahead and research the cryonic center we need that and then i think i'm gonna go in and grab the alternative life center next after that that's gonna be needed although also there's upgrades that you can unlock in these things too Ooh. you can research upgrades i didn't notice that before but there are plenty of them available all right, we'll have to take a look at that. Um, and then, I must have a question mark up here. Unsure what to think of that. We'll go polymers next, uh, and then after that, we'll go electronics. So we'll just kind of queue them all up right now, okay? Venus, see what's up. Ah, perfect timing. The assembly line has been repaired. The machines belong to the UN and are clearly more advanced than our systems. They are fully automated, and our team has been able to use them to prepare a number of resources for extraction. Uh, during the repair process, an engineer discovered a number of inscriptions written by Ulixes. Oh, hey, I know this name. Ulixes. This is a Greek name. The only reason I know this here. Really quick story. Uh, foreign exchange student was Greek, was named Ulixes. That's the only reason I know. Crazy. Anyway, uh, awesome name. He speaks of his time as administrator of Neptune's Hyperlux station, uh, Tiaki and expresses regret over the fate of the station's residents. He used the line to repair elements of his ship so that he could reach the headquarters of the Black Market Society. The Black Market Society. Those sound like people I want to get to know. Um, we have 25 cryopods here and 30 science coming in. So that'll help our research. And so this blue is the cryopods, right? And... Um, we need to open them with the... Uh, we, we haul them back with the regular old uh, hauling ships. And we need to open them with the cryopod... Uh, cryonics... Cryonics opener? Cryonics center. There it is. Yeah. That's what it's called. The cryonics center. So let's go ahead and build that now that we just researched it. And uh, it's right here. It's three electronics. And I feel like I want to put it right here, but kind of like cutting this whole area off, but I kind of want to. The problem is if I do that, I can't get it. Well, I could connect it from this side. What if I just go all on the bottom here and then hook this up like that? That would be fine, right? And if we do that, then we can... Maybe I can just place it over here then. I mean, this does work, right? We could just do it here almost fits here. Gosh, that's so close to fitting there, too. Oh, I don't want to waste it, but I think I want it here, though. And facing this direction. You know what? We're going to do it. So we're going to take this away. And I'm going to put, against my better judgment, put the Chronic Center right here. All right? Good. Now, we can take, I think, this one. Instead of silicon, which is a silly thing to have here, we're going to have it store cryopods. So now, as we bring the cryopods back, they'll dump them here, and then they get opened here. And this is how we grow our population. Because growing our population in the natural way is way too slow. We have tons of survivors in these cryopods, and we want to open them up. 
Okay, then. So, we have iron. It's coming in. We are processing it now. There it goes. Yes, we're able to get more alloys. Fantastic. So, now that we're producing our own alloys, I think it's time to open this sector up. So, let's get the override locks. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I'm seeing extra hours now. Uh... You know what? I'm not entirely sure they're going to actually go pick those up. I don't need my science team to stay there, though. So let's have the science team go out to uh, out to Outer Hope. And then I want to make more of these. Unless let's just go ahead and have them auto-build. I'll, I'll embrace the auto-build for now. Ah. Uh, okay, I just saw that happen in real time. So when you get to conditions that are not optimal... Accident has occurred in the tycoon. Accidents can happen. And the more overstretched your staff is, not only the more angry they'll get, or the less satisfied they'll get, but they are also more prone to accidents. And the larger the buildings are, the more likely they are to have serious accidents. So in this case, our EVA airlock had a big old accident. Pledge to repair the airlock within 10 cycles and keep it running optimally for two. We could do that. Pretty sure we could do that. So let's just kind of get that done. One crew member died during the last cycle in an accident. I guess that was pretty severe. To be fair, the EVA airlock is a very large structure compared to pretty much everything else. So I guess that makes sense. And if you're going to die in an accident for the EVA airlock, and it's an airlock, so you probably got, you know, jettisoned or something, right? It's... Ship has arrived at destination. All right. So we have the steel mill available, which is great. We also have the electronics factory available. I could have swore we researched polymers first i must have done something to not have polymers first but i want polymers first um and uh it's time to open this up so i'm gonna do it now um i wasn't going to because our conditions are overstretched but now that we have cryopods coming in and we can open them good to go um i'm gonna say that we want workers to go in section one only so we'll, we'll kind of feed them to Section 2 as we open them up, but we'll only have them in Section 1 off the start. Okay? So 40 people, 16 food, 1 electronic, and 80 of the alloys will unlock the next sector. All right, let's check this out. So this sector has got a lot of stuff in there, just like we did before. On the... Oh. Oh, we have to start with the basics over here, too. Really? So we have different options. That's interesting. Uh, okay, uh, we'll take the workshop and I think I'm gonna place this right over here in the back corner. Uh, actually, let's, let's do that a little differently. We'll place this instead right in this direction. Yep, and then we will bring this road over. Kinda wanna go four, I think. Go four down like this. We'll get a... Yeah, we'll get two of these stockpiles in, like this. And then we'll start bringing these resources into the stockpile. And once we get that done, take this away. And now have a stockpile go in right over... Oh, it's just a mess hall now. Gotta have the mess hall first. Okay, we can place this, I think, right here. Mess hall will go right here. And we'll just bring this road in like that. Although I really didn't want to do that because I was hoping to put another one here, but I guess. I'm not sure if you need to connect, like if there's any benefits to connecting all the roads. N unclear, but we'll go ahead and do it anyway. Although I don't have to do it like this, do I? I don't have to. I can uh, have this be like right up against just to give me more space on this side. It is an option. All right, and then we need to get access to all of this stuff too. So I guess we'll bring... Uh, ooh, that was different. I want to I wanna read that. Once I get all this stuff hooked up, I'm going to read that. Uh, we'll go like that, and then I think probably want to go just straight across everything, right? So we'll just say like that, and then all the way down, and like, well, it's not lined up all the way, is it? You know what? This road will probably get removed anyway, but um, the important thing is that we get all these resources. Let's queue those up and get these cleared out. And then I want to get, I think, another another dock as soon as possible, if I can. Um, and, and I need more more housing, too. I think housing, um, 
let's see. Where am I limited by? Oh, I can, I can, I can do anything I want now. Um, so I'm not able to build where the sectors classification is. So I'm limited on this of where I could put this. So if I want, I could place it all the way over like so, but I think I want some stuff right here. So I'll probably play it a little close to the chest there or close to that area. And so it's reasonable then if that's the case, then our population center could be, uh, could be located right along this edge here. Right. And then we could have the road kind of do one of these numbers. Right. And then eventually it will just sort of I don't know, match up there? Probably not there. Probably want to keep it, I would think, kind of rounded out. But we'll, we'll place this here, and then this could be where our housing is, okay? There's like a little housing section. I'm not sure how wide it'll actually be, but this looks fine to me. So we'll do something like this, and that will get the housing taken care of, and then also connect all of these other buildings up. Okay. So for now, that's where that's going to go. Taurus Utopia. Administrator, the new sector has been successfully unlocked. Oh, there you go. Good. Acknowledged. Plus 10% trust bonus. Fantastic. Uh, okay, so I want to go in and do this really quick. And then I need a couple of things. I want first... I think an infirmary needs to go in here. Place it on... Place it on this side. I guess. Um, I think this side should probably take care of its own food as well. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put anything on the bottom here. That's the thing. I might, might put something on the bottom. Um, we might do food in the middle here too. Because I like the edge is a really... Like, I, I kind of regretted placing this here, right? Because it's right on the edge. And the edge seems to be very valuable real estate. Um, so I kind of want to avoid that by not getting in the way of any other buildings that we may want uh, as the game progresses. So I'm going to try to avoid uh, messing that up. But get these little buildings popped here. I need to actually click these. Otherwise, they won't uh, they won't gather them. So, And then we have food right here. Okay, so um, we need to either make our own food or we can send it over. So this button, resource management, this is just unlocked. And um, what we do here with this, we have all the types. This is the capacity and the stock that it has. We can actively manage or not manage. And then this is the amount desired in the sector. So basically, it looks like it's going to balance itself to our desires. So for example, if I have 92 food over here, I can turn on management for this. And then I can say management for this as well. And what I can do is this is going to be able to export to any sector, right? What I can do is I say food, I want there to always be, let's say 30 food in sector two. And so if that's the case, and then I say I want to make sure there's always 40 food in sector one, now there is a trade going from one to two, and it'll just flow in. And now the food from this side will just flow into this side, and now there's more food over here. So I don't need to grow it over here if I can overproduce it. And that's part of the specializations that you can do, right? You can, you can specialize in that way. I want to go get this stuff. Yeah. I bet you... Yeah, so I want to actually make this a maximum. I want I want that to be a thing. Go get the cryopods as a maximum priority thing. I need people. Right now, they're just going over and getting the iron, which is good. I need the iron, but I need this more. All right, the end of Outer Hope. A Dolos emergency signal is broadcasting from these coordinates. It originates from the research station Outer Hope. Outer Hope is surrounded by wreckage and debris from a past battle. Broken equipment frozen bodies float around the station. The emergency signal is transmitting from inside. So we either search the battlefield or we can search Outer Hope. I mean, if there's people inside and they're a distress signal, then I'd like to know. So let's search the inside first. I don't see any reason why we can't search the battlefield after we search inside. It, that doesn't make any sense to me if that's the case. Um, let's go ahead and get another probe. And I'm looking for some more things to mine. Let's see. We got... Oh, we got another point of interest right here, though. We'll see what that's all about. It's actually right on one of those uh, one of those rings, right? So one of those little, I guess, orbital trajectories. So it's probably a planet. Uh, so then on this side, we've got... Uh, looks like... Okay, so on the interface, the big white button is total we have in the station, and the yellow button is what we have in that sector. So as I move over here, we have no alloys in this sector. 
Okay, now we can, however, move our road. Roods, rawids. We can put them over like this. And uh, this will give us access, at least, to some of these other resources. So let's get that. And we should have access to this. It's not, not harvesting it yet, though, which is a little bit weird. No we should have. All right. Our miner is not going to do anything right now. Uh, it's Jupiter. Yeah. So we have Jupiter over there. Let's find another place to mine. How about carbon? We'll get some carbon. Although we can't process it yet. At least not until this research is done. <laughs> ah, I probably... I didn't get this done either. So let's queue that up and then queue memorials up, I guess, too. And maybe that'll give us access to the next... Uh, give us access to the next level. Uh, all right. So here's where I want this. We are going to turn Section 2 into a processing center, okay? We're going to be processing lots of resources in this sector. So I want docking bays here, definitely. And I think... Probably for the best that I put this, uh, I think three three away. But I'm just trying to make sure I'm not crowding this area because I think I think I want. Um, here, let me see if I can pull this off. If I put something there, and then here, and here. Does that stop me from placing? the docking bay here it doesn't okay so this is like playing it real close to the chest right there right so we'll do about i think like this bring that down like that and i think this can go away because i want it to look better so we'll turn it this direction and then we'll have the road go like that all right so now we'll build all these uh build all these things now i want this to happen pretty quickly i think so i'm gonna say high priority on this and then we're gonna have this road uh you know it depends on what else we're putting here though like i want to put other stuff here but um we're gonna need a battery in this section i think this is a great place for that actually there's a battery there and maybe even a battery here although i think i can fit something else yeah if i stick it all the way in the back corner i can fit a house right there we'll do that instead Yeah, I can fit that right there. Or another battery. But I want I want batteries installed everywhere, right? So um, it looks like we've got this power line. And then there's also this. And it shows us that we have 200 out of 200 units of power stored, which equals 1.4 cycles of backup power. So probably more batteries would be a good thing. Um, but I think two for now in each sector should be okay. To make sure that we can start constructing this, I'm just going to make a road here. No idea if it will... Uh, it will actually work but we're gonna make a road there um this is actually electronics that's why they're not breaking that down so one of these this one fine that could be electronics and then we'll start to break this down instead uh, and then we need the road to connect like that and it will get all these things connected and then we can just have it be i think all the way over like so and get all these and then over here we'll go up like that and then there and i think that connects every piece of scrap to our road network eventually uh there's only one thing left to do i guess on that and that's to replace this road here once this is gathered so we'll gather that really quickly and then uh we'll go ahead and hit the button there we go so and then we'll get all these alloys and they all need to go into here because we can then build more vehicles and uh with those extra vehicles crazy enough we will be able to mine things faster, won't we? I think, anyway. Outer Hope. A new request awaits your attention. Outer Hope lies in ruins. Many embalmed bodies were found in the remains of the station. Dolo's crew protocols do not direct for this type of preservation. So somebody else did it. Uh, the Newton's team traced the emergency broadcast, and after clearing away several tons of debris, uncovered the station's mainframe. They were able to access and extract outer hopes black box its data can be analyzed using the tycoon's tech lab okay gives us 25 more pods for extraction as well as the outer hope black box technology interesting um let's search the battlefield then and then we'll go with the probe let's see what else can we find out here another point of interest out here somewhere 
Oh, 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 where is it? Right there. Nailed it. Okay, so we'll hopefully go out and get something there too. I need more resources to mine though. So like they need to keep cranking out those probes so that I can keep finding new things for my miners to go out and do. Once this is done though, right, we build more transport ships. And I think what will happen is, well, let's just click this first. Uh, administrator, you've received data from the Outer Hope Black Box in the Tycoon Tech Lab. Okay, Tech Lab. Uh, oh, the okay, so that was the question mark. The question mark was the Outer Hope Black Box. Okay, so we can also queue that on the queue as well. Oh, that's the thing. You can only queue one thing at a time. That's why that was happening. Gotcha. All right, so I was thinking we had like a whole sequence of events, and that's not how that works. That's why we didn't get the polymers. Okay. Um, so anyway, eventually this stuff is going to get moved over here. So this is going to go away. Our source of iron and all that stuff is going to end up being brought over here. And what we'll do is I'll have this docking bay along with another one, which I think is probably going to be, um, well, hang on. Let's get rid of that. Let's move this out of here. If I can get this, this, and this. And then once this disappears, which is hopefully now. Um, we can go ahead and see what kind of room I have over here. So we'll just have this road go like that. And then on this side, we want another docking bay, which I can either put right up against this or I can put it all the way on the side. I think I'll go all the way to the side so I have more room for all the houses to be next to each other. Not that it matters, really. And honestly, I think we have room for two. Ooh. We do have room for two if I block this side. If I block this... And I don't put a if I don't put a road here, then I have room for two. Ah, very tempting. Very tempting indeed. Um Let's go like that. There is only five tiles. I might want to move this road. Actually, it looks like I'm gonna have to move the road anyway, because there needs to be a road here for these houses, and then it goes another road here ah yeah so i'll have to move this road anyway all right we're clearing it out clear this road clear this clear this this little bit here this little bit here uh we can actually just pull this little bit here it doesn't matter and yeah we'll leave leave that for now um but i think i think it's pretty much done so it's, it's building and you get 220 power I'm wondering if I should get going on more solar panels now. It's better to just jump into it. So we can go for medium, which is one electronic. I think that's worth it. And back, to, let's just build both. I know I'm going to need them eventually, so I might as well do it while I have the electronics. The science ship team has completed a task. Very good. Let's go back to the science team then. Outer Hope. Battle seems to have been made up of multiple engagements with debris from the conflicts most mostly consisting of rest wow I can speak mostly consisting of wrecked shuttles. Some of these destroyed ships bear the insignia of the UN. Okay, though the majority carry Dulles emblems. I wonder if so is the UN fighting Dolos? Sophisticated weapon systems were also identified among the wrecks. Maybe there were aliens and everyone's fighting against the aliens. <laughs> Please don't be aliens. <laughs> Please don't be aliens. Um, identified among the wreckage, bearing the acronym BMS. Okay. Uh, the Newton's team was able to salvage some resources from the debris. So we get 40 extraction or 40 research for that. And then we'll just go ahead and say dismantle. Science team's going to be busy doing that for a little while. We we'll find over here. Ooh, Neptune. Neptune's got a little thing to search on. Jupiter doesn't. Lame. Uh, let's get a probe. And we got to find something to mine. Let's find some iron. And there's some, actually some really good stuff here. Can I get both? Can I get both green? Oh, very close. Come on now. Oh, it's either all on or not at all, huh? All right. Well, I want some stuff to mine. We're out of, we're out of iron inside the base, so... Gonna have to do it. So right there is bright green. And it's close by, so that's good too. We'll just make more probes. I mean, it's that's fine. We have we have time to just make more probes. I'm gonna regret putting this here, aren't I? I might regret this. Just like, I don't know, like maybe not, because if this is where currently this is where we're storing the carbon, but I think if I switch this off of ice and put this as polymers, polymers really don't have to travel that far, you know? 
I can always put more storage right here too, and then and it definitely doesn't have to travel very far. That'll be okay. Uh, okay, science team's completed a task. This is completed down too. So what I want is now more cargo ships. I want one, two, I'm thinking three. We do three cargo ships right here. And that means a lot of polymers. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to actually support that many right now. Um, but if we get this research done, then we can start making our own polymers. That's necessary. So we only have 38 polymers right now, like total. And I would like to make sure at least one of them goes over here. So we're going to turn on polymers management. And we're going to say that we want... Oh, I don't have any polymer storage. Well, that's because these aren't built yet. Damn. All right. This is now polymer storage. Congratulations. Uh, we're going to go in <laughs> and make this be 30 minimum. And that should transfer all the remaining polymers over to section 2. Uh, so that th they can be pushed into... Hopefully, be get pushed into at least one of these ships. See, they're coming out of the storage right there. There it goes. So at least 20. We'll have at least one ship made from those polymers, okay? I think I just used the rest of them for all that solar. Actually, it looks to me like we built one solar, but we got five polymers short of building the second solar. All right, well, you know, that sucks. There it is, polymer refinery, done. Okay, so again, I want this area over here to be like a manufacturing area. And um, so we don't need polymers to build these things. We just need the electronics. We have those. So I'm thinking what we do is I take the road. Yeah. I take the road away from uh, away from here. Let's just kind of do this for a second. And we can redraw these roads in a manner that actually makes sense for later on. Uh, so what I want is I think the steel mills. And I could put the steel mill like right up against this. I think that's probably okay. We'll have a road that goes alongside there. And so if I do one of the steel mills, actually I bring it back down this way. Uh, we'll say one house there. So the steel mill should be here. Yeah, it should be lined up right here. So if my calculations are correct, and I believe they are, I should be able to do one there and one here like that. That will be steel processing. Okay. Let's take the shape of these things. So polymer polymer processing is actually really easy and we can place this kind of like I guess right here. I can place this as a single road that kind of goes up and around. But if I want this to be a little bit better, like if I want it to not be super crowded, then I would need to move these so that they're a little bit different. So I guess what we'll do is we'll say polymer processing first. We'll bring this I think maybe all the way all the way over I'm just trying to be very optimal with this and I I'm trying to like think ahead of how I want all my buildings to be so um, we'll place polymer processing here doing that we can then go in and place steel mills uh, like this with one tile separation here and here uh, and here okay then we have the road which goes straight across like this but it's also going to end up going up like that. And then we'll have houses through here. So we'll end up having, uh, let's see, population. We'll end up having houses like this all along this road, kind of like this. I almost want to go over a little bit just to make an extra road. So if I was to go... Because uh, I, I don't want to get in the way of the factories, right? So we want to go, let's say, population. Here we go. We want to go like this. I think that's better because then the road can go straight through here. And then I can place, you know, anything else I need on this side. So we'll say this goes straight across like that. And then this goes up in the middle like that. And this is like two of our processing centers, basically, right? And then on this side, we've got this road that already kind of veers this direction. And... I feel like we just keep it and then we'll kind of do something like that mm, now i want to move my infirmary i don't like where it is yeah i mean it, it's it's kind of a it's kind of an experiment you know where do i want to put these things right um i could put it here instead infirmary goes here 
Yeah. So we'll dismantle this. Whoa, hang on. Don't do that. Infirmary goes here. And then this is now high priority. So we'll dismantle this and move this over here. And it, you get all the alloys back. So you don't actually spend them. So this is going to be, yeah, again, our new manufacturing area. And we're going to be double processing steel here plus this. And we also have room for an extra docking bay if we want it. Now, whale, right, is our new ship. And I want whale to also be focusing on grabbing some of these supplies. So just go over and grab some things. Um, you know what? We can actually have you grab cryopods too, I guess, if we get a bunch of them. Um, have carbon be secondary, silicon be secondary. The main resources, we want to bring it right away. And we'll have hydrogen be like really low. Anybody who's actual crew goes really fast. There we go. So the whale is now in the game, if you will. He's He's been told to go get things. And uh, go back to the map here really quick. Outer Hope. We have 37 alloys and 13 polymers. Fantastic. Go get the polymers. Okay, so we've extracted all the science from there. That's good. Newton can now go somewhere else. And let's have you go all the way over to Neptune, I suppose. Probe. Probe can find some more things. Like more iron. Never go wrong with more iron. Very close to the moon, too. So that's going to be good. Uh, we actually really need that polymer production up now because we don't have any. Um, although they are coming uh, from uh, Hope. They're coming from Hope, but I still need this up and running so that I can get all that in there. On this side of the road, though, I think what we do on this side of the road, it's not really ideal. It's like really not optimal spacing, unfortunately. But I wanted to have like... Um, suppose we could do it here though that's not too shabby we could do it here we'll do one here uh, I don't want to do it there so I'm going to do there and there and then we also do another let's say two here and here okay now this is of course to store our resources and then we need this to go straight that way so that we can connect to this one but this is to store the resources. So we're going to be processing, let's say, iron all through here. And, you know, whatever else we're processing down here. Um, what's the shape of the electronics factory? Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This. This fits super well. Oh, wow. Look at that. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, new plan. Uh, I think we slam this right up against it. I mean, having room for more of these makes sense, but I can always have all that stuff stored on the other side, too. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah, go on, then. We're going to put that right there, then. Um, and then I might need another EVA airlock for hull repair? No, I think we're good on hull repair. So now it's just a matter of, hey, by the way, we don't have a we don't have a stockpile with alloys. What are we gonna do? Oh no. And then it's just me saying, fine, bring in the alloys here. And then now they'll just bring them over and do the thing. For alloys, I want these managed as well. And we will say that we want a minimum of 35, let's say 40, from sector one brought over to sector two. So now the new alloys that we're processing here will at least get transferred over here so that they can start building things. And the infirmary is the first thing I'd like to build because I'm moving it. Um, and actually, I think we can probably hold up on the houses. We don't need this many houses. Just kind of use this as a as a place where we're holding the position, I guess, for these houses. Uh, we actually don't need all of these either. So like, just for the, for the sake of it for now, let's pause most of these things. Uh, I'm actually going to pause this, too, because I would rather get processing up and running than to have another dock, I think. Because we need it. And see, like, there's already 90 iron that's been brought back here. So um, we just need a place for the iron to go. And that's what this one that we're building is going to be. This one that we build is going to be where we hold the iron. And then they will build these two, and we'll start processing it. But I think this needs to be a higher priority than this, because this thing here is going to help us get more polymers and that's going to help us get more ships so all of those things all the things i just said it matters okay it all 
it all matters. And they're not destroying this yet. Building not powered. I know, because it's, it's being destroyed. Can you guys break this down, please? Hello? Can you break down the building? Can you just... Can you take the stuff... Take the stuff out of the building and put it where it goes? It's possible this building is bugged. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, this one. So you are going to hold iron. And so now the iron comes out of here, goes into here, and now it's ready to be processed. So we'll just have one high priority on this side. And this is almost built now. Yeah. All those wonderful alloys. You got 20 right here. You just got to go and use it, you know? And you can actually move them here because we've already built this. So you just take these alloys and build these two storage would be great. I think that would be really great if you just did that. Uh, you know what? They're kind of they're kind of spreading them out, and I don't want them to do that. So can you can you kind of finish this before you start push pushing them into there? Yeah. Okay. So we have two sectors open. That was that's the big thing for this video, I guess. We now have a second sector, and we are now at Neptune. This is Teaki. Our communication systems have detected faint signals transmitting from what appears to be an old luxury station on Triton. Transmission analysis pulled a few data fragments encoded within the signal. They mentioned public disorder, food supply problems, and frequently referenced the name Ulixes. Okay. Uh, Ulixes is going to be a popular dude. I'm actually looking down here and I'm seeing Ulixes is going to be a popular dude. Uh, Taki Station has been almost entirely dismantled. A few areas left suggest that those who lived here were swimming in opulence. We have found a sealed room protected by heavily armored blast doors. Dents in the door's metal suggest that others have unsuccessfully tried to gain entry. Uh, Layla Labib recommends the use of explosives. Okay. Uh, given the state of the station, I myself think it's a bad idea, says my PA. Well, I'd have to agree, you know? I almost have to agree. Um, Honestly, like... I want to figure out this. Open the sealed room with biometric data. I want to... I, I don't want to want to do this. I don't want to mess the station up because it looks like it could be fragile and structural collapsing and stuff. That means I can't get the stuff inside. I think we leave. I think we leave. And we come back when we find Ulixes. <laughs> if we find Ulixes. Uh, so let's take a look and see if we can't get no more things. Uh, I think iron... I, I, I want carbon too, but iron is a big thing. Ooh, silicon. Silicon's a thing too. Um, no, we, we need more. We need more of iron. Yeah, yeah, this right here. This right here. I want it to be bright green. I'm not sure it matters, but I want it to be bright green. Yeah, so maybe it doesn't matter. We'll go like this. We might find something over there. Uh, what about the science team? So the science team is not doing anything now because they can't do anything here. So we need to find something else for the science team to do as well. I mean, we could find out all the other planets. They look like they have stuff to do at the other planets. We're trying to get the alternative life center right now. And then I think we'll go ahead and get the Outer Hope black box uh, after that. Yeah, Outer Hope black box after that. Okay, so this is being built. Fantastic. Sector 2 has extra hours, though. Are we opening cryopods? It doesn't appear so. We're bringing iron back, but I don't see the cryopods. Have we gathered them yet? We must have gathered them, so that means we've already opened them. That was quick. That was quite fast. Yeah. Um, so we, we obviously cannot make... Oh, there's a potential issue. So if we don't have any polymers, we can't make more probes. If you can't make more probes, can't find more resources. Uh, so that's an issue. I'm going to solve it now, though, because this we did have enough resources to get this done. So what I'd like to do, this is all the iron, so we need to build this now. High priority for this building right here. Uh, maybe this building instead. Let's actually make it this building instead. This one's paused. So this one instead, let's build this, if possible. There's many... As much uh, alloys as we can. This is being built now. So we're going to start processing this iron here. Fantastic. Let's pause here. 
We'll just have one of these built for now. Uh, but I need a storage place for carbon so that it can be brought here. And then I also need a storage place for the polymers. Now, the final resources, I think we're going to make them over here. So we'll have iron, polymers, and eventually I think we'll need to have like electronics right here and then maybe cryopods. And that way, if we bring cryopods in here, we can drop them off and then send them to the other station, uh, send them to the other sector. We have dangerous conditions. Yikes. Okay, that's not good. Hull integrity is also going down. Also not good. Probably because we're out of alloys. So we got to process these faster. Let's go, go, go. Process faster. Here we go. We're getting more alloys being processed now as we speak. Seems good. This can finally build. And we'll make this a carbon storage. And then what we want to do... Uh... Oh, I totally missed this feature. We can move people. Of course we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just There's a move people button here. Okay, we'll look at that when we need it. But right now, this side here is already overdone too. So I think what we really need to do right now is just get all the polymers possible. So let's go ahead and do polymer management. Yep. And we're going to say that we'll say five minimum over here. But we want like all, all the polymers as possible. We'll send them to the to sector one. Um, at least everything beyond five. Uh, and then we want electronics as well. Eventually, we'll say that we want, like, say, I don't know, eight minimum here with management just being, like, one over here, I guess. We don't even have storage for it yet. What I'm looking for, though, is... It was just polymers, right? I already did it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I want the polymers sent over here. So when we make them, not connected to a stockpile of carbon. It is very soon. Oh, carbon, that's what I was trying to do. God, I get so sidetracked, I'm sorry. Uh, here's carbon, carbon. So we want to send the carbon. We'll say minimum zero, yep. And then this sector, we want to max it out. So there we go. So all carbon, when it gets brought into here, is going to immediately get sent over to here, okay? Now, we can go ahead and take Lucian out of here. And we can make a new mining ship. Okay. Obviously, that takes polymers as well. But if we can get to double the mining ships, we can get double the fun. Everyone likes double the mining ships. So now we're effectively making every carbon will get turned into a polymer. It's a one-to-one -one ratio there. So now we're making our own polymers. Very good. We're making our own alloys we should be able to handle that now and as the polymers get created we build more ships so we have we have one ship that's working it off and doing things we have this ship that's going to happen i think i'm going to go ahead and just pause that ship for now so once this is built we'll have two ships that are going out and getting things but just not not everything just yet uh let's go back over here science team oh i don't have the probe yet Nothing for the science team to do. Yeah, that's, that's a real bummer. I need to I need to make sure we bring polymers over. So now that this ship is done being built, there shouldn't be any more usage for polymers on this side of the, on the in this sector. So I should now see that polymers will be transferred over here once they're made. Now we have five here, and we're gonna keep a minimum of five here. I think it's probably a good idea, um, just in case we use them all. Then that will prompt the other side to send them if there's extra. But after five, we send the rest of them over to sector one. So these are going to go to sector one. And they're already transferring over. And so we should now see polymers right there. Yep. And then it immediately gets sent. It gets sent for probes. At least I thought it did. Oh, right. It went to the... It went to the damn thing. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't send them to the mining ship. Send them to the probe first. Okay. Let's pause production on the mining ship. Send them to this... Send them to this first, okay? We need this way, way more. And then I might go ahead and tear this down because I think I want to make more food. I'm noticing, well, this is a positive of 08. And this is a negative of 08. So, I mean, it's like we're barely holding on for food right now. Not the best situation, but fine. Uh, electronics factory is going to come online soon. I guess that means I can probably go ahead and resume this. Since we do have extra iron. 258 of it actually just sitting here. So we do need 
more of these things built as well. This is going to be another iron. And then all the alloys go over here. All right, so we'll always know our, our production on this side, in this corner. A new request awaits your attention. They're requesting more things? It's so needy. Move or die. Great. Clean munchy algorithms have identified that staying too long in one system exacerbates dead earth sickness. This collective trauma will not begin to heal until the crew can set foot on their new home. Cannot stand a system that holds no hope for your humanity. One permanent stability penalty. Yikes. Okay, so this is where getting this helps. The alternative life center. That's where this is going to help us because it's going to add one stability in a sector. So if a st sector starts getting unstable, like these guys are with their anger, uh, and these guys are neutral right now, but if these guys are angry, right? There's only 38 people here. I really got to get probes. Hurry up, probes. I think point of interest. That's what I think. I think point of interest needs to happen right now. We got to find something that has... Honestly, I got to find something that has cryopods fast. Uh, something over here, right there. I need something with cryopods, so... Please hurry up. <laughs> I really, really need it. Desperately. Uh, here's a new thing. We'll go and get that. Uh, we'll go and get that. Yeah, that. And cryopods for sure. People for sure. And then everything else can be secondary. Yeah, that's fine. We're almost, we're almost done getting another mining ship. Newton, you ready to go? You're going to go over here. Whatever this is. Debris field. Fantastic. Go that way. Get something to do. I, like, part of me wants to send more people here because they're angry. But, like, the other part of me is saying, actually, I need to stop this. Pause this, and let's also shut this down. We can remove jobs, and that will make us over uh, less, right? It'll be less of a big deal, I think, if we could just do that. Um, we, we still need to produce the carbon, or we still need to process the carbon, but... Um, I think if we remove the jobs be slightly slightly better condition so it's 38 out of 111 now still pretty bad still really bad come on science team get over to this debris field the game said that there might be cryopods here we need them also another probe uh could be cryopods here as well let's go send a probe over here too this looks like this looks like it might be mars all right, debris field. Transmission from Eden Drucker. Probe data analyst. We have verified the data several times and can confirm the existence of a vast debris field covering an area of several thousand kilometers. At the center of the field is a colossal artificial structure, which, even in its ruined state, makes the tycoon look like an insect. Wow. Who built this monstrosity? We have identified three areas of for investigation. The core of the structure, a large, uh, a sort of large scale assembly area, a secondary structure that looks to be the remains of a loading dock, and a particularly dense area of the debris field close to the other two sites. We recommend the utmost caution be taken when approaching these areas. The floating debris will make navigation difficult and interfere with communications. Okay. So, we can either go to the core, Ruin on the, ruin the ruins on the loading dock or the dense area debris. I think we start in the middle. I like starting on the inside, man. Just go on in the middle. I think we'll probably always do it that way. Tycoon industry. This doesn't look good. The integrity of the hull fell below 75%. Current damage exceeds the tolerance level set by Nihei. Nihei? Uh, Nehei structural theory. It would be wise to commission repairs so as to prevent mission failure. Pledge to restore the hull to 75% within 30 cycles. Oh my gosh, it's way down. Okay, what the world's going on here? We don't have enough stockpiled alloys. Like hell we don't. We don't, they're all over here. Oh, they're all over here, that's why. Oh... Oh, damn it. I put zero here. All right, hold on. Bring these up. Come on. Yep. Bring this back down to 10. Bring those alloys back over here, damn yous. 
We haven't been he we haven't been repairing things. And then this is taking too long. How come you guys are going the long way around? Oh, well, it's because of where the alloys are stored, right? Yeah, we probably want to have more alloy storage over here somewhere. Uh, you know, it's not the worst idea in the world to have more alloy storage. I could break this down and have a whole bunch of alloys. You see, now we have a plus 10 balance. Okay, good. EV airlocks are at 97% efficiency. Let's go. <laughs> Hull repairs within 30 cycles. I did say I would do it, and I meant it. All of you guys, I'll do it. All right, you know what? I think... Well, I, let's take a look at this. It's one cycle until we can see what that event is. Oh, it was Mars. Yeah, yeah we got Mars here. And there's also potentially some cryopods there, too. That's fantastic. Um, we want to go ahead and get another probe. And we want to get another point of interest somewhere. All right, I think I need just something right here. looks good. Oh, there's also silicon here. Well, we want to get the silicon too, right? Let's... Maybe we can see both. Can I see both? You know what? I mean, it's... It's on the silicon here. We got stuff to do here and here, so I don't need another point of interest for my science team yet. But, yeah, okay. So, I'm repairing the hull. It kind of got out of hand. I admit, Sector 2 is looking very bad at the moment because I went too fast. Right? I expanded too quickly. Uh, we can take against uh, against probably what will matter. We can go ahead and send like say 30, 30 people who are just workers from from one to two. Maybe that will make them slightly happier. I'm sure it will make these people thrilled. They'll love it. They'll love being shorthanded over on sector one now. Great uh, debris field. What's up? 25 more pods. Uh, first visuals reveal a huge damaged structure surrounded by arches that have detached from their central axis. They are covered in traces of explosive residue. Oh, fun. Uh, collision impacts uh, and scarring from small arms fire. Okay, so they, it's like somebody was invading. So is it the UN? There's a logo of the UN here, right? After exploring a few areas of the structure that remains accessible, the team of the Newton did find a number of resources. Further analysis of the structure is possible, but it will take time. So there's 25 pods to extract and 10 science. So we can go deeper. It'll take more time. Now, negative things can happen with these, all right? They're not all positive, right? We, there, sometimes you're gonna have to make a decision. And sometimes, right, negative things can happen. Um, but if I don't go deeper into this facility, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So far, it doesn't seem like anything super dangerous. It seems like everything's kind of dead, so we'll go forward. If we find situations where it could be dangerous, uh, maybe something's unstable, things like that, we might want to maybe be a little less gung-ho about it. But for for now, though, I think that's probably fine. Um, so, Build Mining Ship has everything delivered. It's just not building. That's strange. Oh, it's not strange at all. We have to actually hit go. So let's go ahead and get... Uh, another mining ship built so we can mine things even faster. That's good. Uh, so now we have enough alloys here to fully heal the hull. Everything's going to be repaired. No big deal. And we still don't have enough science for the alternative life center. That's really hurting me too, I think. Uh, we want to get... Yep, you. Go mine that. Go mine that. This is secondary. Uh, this is good. And this is secondary. Go mining ship. Do great things, mining ship. Go get iron, mining ship. Uh, yeah, let's have a high priority for that one. And then um, this silicon could be a high priority too, I guess. Okay, good. So 10 more science to get from here. Which the science team needs to be doing nothing in order to collect science. So while they're sitting here doing nothing, they're collecting science, right? So let's go ahead and click this. Oh, baby! <laughs> yes! Look at that haul! Oh, that's a, that's a haul right there. That's a haul. 250 pods. That's massive. After examination, uh, the Newton's team concluded that the site was evacuated before its destruction. Finding uniforms and equipment bearing the insignia of different organizations, it appears the structure was property of the UN. Strangely, a number of embalmed bodies were found positioned in a ritualistic arrangement in a secluded area. The team was unable to determine the cause of the conflict or the purpose of the assembly area. 
but have managed to recover further resources. These have been packed for extraction. Oh my gosh. Let's go to the loading dock. Dude, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, high priority. Yes. Yes, yes. High priority to collect right here. All my ships. What have I done? Uh, no, no. This is collection. So it's high priority to mine, not collect. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the high priority uh, mine. This is high priority collection. So we want to see these things gathered as fast as possible. Oh my god. That's amazing. What a great haul. Uh, we want to go to... It's like there. Got uh, anything else over here. Got carbon over here. Yep, we need more carbon. We got to have more carbon because we're running out of polymers. Oh my goodness. So much to do, guys. So much to do. So now these guys are overworked. At least it's not... Well, it is negative. I mean, we're losing faith. Everybody's losing faith. So once we get this research, though, it'll add stability. And I think that that will offset the negativity here. I think it will bring trust back in. You guys can find out in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you guys will hit the like button on the videos. I really hope you will. Subscribe if you haven't already and stuff. I hope you guys are liking Ixion. I'm recording like 10 videos before I can finally take off uh on my trip overseas so um i'm actually trying to finish this before i take off on my trip overseas but i'll have 10 videos done for this series before it actually launches on december 7th which is probably when you guys are seeing this video and if you're a member or a patron of this channel you have access to all 10 of them right now yeah yeah you can we can just watch it at your own pace if you want to go ahead and check it out in your your exclusive vip channel in the discord all right take it easy guys we'll see ya bye bye